now let us discuss about static control flow from parent to child okay so simple no more twist here so simple we are about to complete it uh, very soon please try to observe friends okay please try to observe this one okay so what will be the logic if you load a particular dot class file of a child okay of a child so simple the static control flow of parent is also going to get executed but uh, some few internal logic steps are going to get deeper what are those please try to observe here the same thing i'm just going to modify this one okay uh, what is the st static control flow within our uh, static control flow from parent to child okay from parent to child okay now identification of static members from uh, from parent to child okay from parent to child okay please from parent to child will be the first logic here friends okay what is that identification of what static members from parent to child is the first uh, first logic what is that from parent to, to child okay heading now then execution of static variable assignments and static blocks from the same thing from uh, what is that from from what is that from parent to, to child okay from parent to child let will get execute the static blocks and static variable assignments from parent to child okay and now here also the order is not at all very important now here uh, execution of main method of uh, uh, execution of main method in uh, child class friends okay in child class that's it done that nothing please try to observe here a simple example for this one so that we are going to complete the static control flow from parent to child okay please let me take one class as what class as what e let me declare one static okay static in i what is that double line let me take one static block friends let it be as what sop of what first uh, first block getting let it be one block or first block whatever it may be okay now sop of what i okay now let me take what uh, one of the child class for this uh, a getting what is that child class it is b friends okay now let me take the same thing what is that static uh, int uh, j equals to minus double line okay let me take one more uh, static block here okay now let me put what sop of what uh, second block let it be as what second block friends and sop of what j now if i load this uh, child class dot class file means uh, if there is no main method means there will be abnormal termination right in order to avoid that i am going to put up the jvm in shutdown mode to do that what we have to do here ah system dot exit of double line or anything even zero also valid friends okay even zero is also a valid thing okay and uh, now let us go and load this class what is that ja i mean think that i have saved this entire 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 source code with name as what uh, let it be as what a dot a dot java okay a dot java so that how to compile this one a dot java only now two dot class files are going to get generated for class a and for class b now how to load this uh, class b java space b getting and uh, now the dot class file of this is going to get load and uh, but uh, it is a uh, i mean it is the child for class e so instance i mean static control flow of uh, uh, from parent to child is going to get executed right now this logic is going to get uh, implemented internally right try to observe here uh, now the same thing whenever static data members are, have been identified those things will be in which state uh, read only state right and default values will be assigned to that particular data member right now try to observe here what is that i will be as what zero it will be in which state read only state done and this is also going to get identified and come to the child thing this is also going to get identified right now j variable value is what zero read only state grants other one is what this is also going to get identified right uh, first thing has been done 
coming to the next one execution of static variable assignments okay and static block execution from top to bottom where order is not imported to me right and now what is that variable assignment right now if i do assign that is if jvm is going to assign actual value to the data member or to the identifier that variable is said to be in which state uh, read write state right uh, very important so now this value is going to get overwrite getting this value is going to get overwrite as what double line and it say i mean it is said to be in which state read write state ah uh, now execution of this block what will be the answer or the output to us simple what is that answer ah uh, output is what friends one one block another one is what what is the value of i here double nine getting and now come to this one now what is this actual literal assignment that is static variable assignment getting so this variable set to be in which state now by overwriting j variable from 0 to minus double nine ah observe this one from 0 to minus double nine i'm going to overwrite this one and it is set to be in which state read right state getting up and now try to observe here now the static block execution so what will be the output two hyphen block what is that minus double line that's it please try to observe here this should be the output to us getting the same piece of code now we are going to execute please try to focus please friends okay yes friends the same piece of code but thing is what class names are getting deferred than that nothing friends please try to focus a lot okay instead of class a parent instead of class b child okay the same piece of execution okay nothing great and nothing change here also okay now let me go and compile what what is the source file ah source file name static hyphen parent uh, dot java okay now try to go and compile this piece of code what is that java c what is that ah what is that static hyphen parent dot java compile successfully let me go and load what child class dot class file now how to put that one java child dot uh, of, of course just child right now what should be the output ah uh, one block or first block uh, double line second static of course instead of block uh, what i have taken the overboard i have taken block here i have taken what first static second static okay so instead of one block we are going to get what so what should be the output to us friends what is that first uh, okay first uh, static another one is what double nine and what is the other one second hyphen static later you should see the output as what minus double nine please try to observe here okay now let me go and uh, of course let me run that child child dot class file okay yes of course first static second static i mean first static double nine second static uh, minus double nine okay 